Alright, Warhammer 40k starting the third battle of Warhammer 40k 1500 point tournament. Woo! As you can see, we've already have the tall winner who beat the Night Lords. We have the, uh, my new Hive Tarn, my new painted one, flying one, so I have to use that Chaos Demon Prince, but Tina has won last time. And now we're doing Eldar Mech versus the Speed Freak Orcs. We'll see who's going to win. 1500 points. Playing Hard to the Alien Dawn of War deployment. Alright, so we're going to start the game now. We have 1500 points. Uh, Purge of the Alien, Dawn of War deployment. We got my Speed Freak Works versus Eldar, as you saw. I'll go over my list first. I got a truck filled with boys and a knob times three and a, and a boss pole. So here, here, and there. Have a battle wagon filled with 19 boys, all shooters, a knob of boss pole, power claw, and a big map of custom force field covering everyone here from this guy, from the looted wagon to this truck. And that's a looted wagon, boom gun, and a big shooter. This also has two big shooters. And then I have a war boss as my warlord on a bike with um, five knob bikers. There's a wag banner, pain boy, one power claw. All the rest have close combat weapons. War boss has a power claw, two and two um, combat scorches. And that's my army, 200 points. Let's go for Eldar army. Okay, I'll, uh, you want to start over here? With the, okay. We have uh, seven jet bikes with one warlock. He has conceal reveal for his uh, battles, runes of battle. Uh, here I have a wave serpent inside its ten uh, dire avengers, one X arc that has the shimmer shield. Uh, I have Farseer here. Uh, this is a fire prism, another wave serpent. This only has nine dire vendors, eight in the Exarch. Same uh, build out shimmer shield power weapon. A uh, squad of guardians with the uh, shirking cannon. And then this is my warlord, Farseer. Uh, in reserve, I have my Crimson Hunter and uh, five warp spiders. One of them, the Exarch, with fast shot, and he's got the ability to shoot. Two shots. He's got a little bit better gun. But uh, as far as my Farseer powers, this guy has Doom, Guide, and uh, Foreboding. Yeah. And then this guy here has Prescience, Guide, and Misfortune. And Green Dawn, if I have one to roll to go first, I didn't steal initiative, so we're going to go ahead and. And my Warlord power was. Uh, Warlord trait? Yeah. Well, it's um, it's night fighting. So. He gets to choose. Okay. So uh, going into turn one of orcs. All right. So end of my first turn, basically moved up, turbo boosted everything. The, all those turret tanks moved up. I was thinking about going that way, but then I would end up out right here, and that'd be way too close. So I'd just be destroyed. I moved that way. All every, they're still all within out there. Custom force field. This guy, these guys, boosted, moved up. He's trying to get closer to range with his big boom gun. So I'm going into Eldar turn one. Probably going to be bad for my tanks. Okay, end of Eldar turn one. I want to get ahead and gave myself uh, conceal here. I moved these guys 12 inches. Uh, I moved these guardians up six inches. I moved all, well, the wave serpent and fire prism six inches this up 12 inches, the wave serpent, that one, and uh, as far as my Farseer powers, I was able to get both uh, Guide and Prescience off, and Guide and Foreboding for this guy, so this weapons platform and the Guardians are guided, this is guided, or Prescience, and this is guided, and... Yeah, that's all I could do. Everything else was out of 24 inches for misfortune and things. So, come back with uh, my shooting phase. Okay, had a lot of shots, a lot of hits. Because it's night fighting and because he has the 5 plus and vulnerable save, and the big mech, all my shots, really, he, he needed twos. And I did a lot of penetrations, a lot of glances, but, you know, who's going to roll a two to save a tank? So nothing happened. I just battle focused. These guys came up shot, made a bunch of wounds, penetrations. He made all his two pluses. They battle focused back. These guys moved back. Again, nothing really, a lot of things shot, but nothing happened. 
uh, the jet bikes just turbo boosted over this way, and that's the end of my turn. Alright, end of my turn again. I just did moving and shooting. I moved turbo boosted. The only thing I saw was a looted wagon, and it shot over there and scattered off, hit nothing. So, basically a bunch of good cover saves, and I'm right in front of the Eldar's face. Now going into Eldar turn two. Eldar are already on their heels, orcs breathing down their necks. Uh, just to recap, I got my reveal for those, uh, for the warlock and the jet bikes. I got Misfortune off, but he was able to deny the witch, which was really depressing. But I did get Guide, uh, Prescience, and Guide, and uh, Foreboding. So uh, what happened was this guy, the Farseer, jumped in with this group, and they jumped in there. And these guys here, they have Guide. They moved back a little bit. Uh, this group of knob bikers are doomed. These jet bikes kind of got into to shooting range of this. Uh, <coughs> this this uh, wave serpent moved up six. These guys jumped out, and that's my move. Oh, also, I did not get my warp spiders in, but this crimson hunter came in, and I'm trying to place it so I can hopefully take care of that big tank. So we'll come back with the shooting. In the Valdar shooting phase, that blank spot is where the boom gun was destroyed along with the looted wagon. Crimson Hunter took it out and it exploded. Over here, uh, I was able to get through his invulnerable save. Finally took three glancing hits away from the truck. These orcs piled out. Uh, I did manage to wound like five of them with my fire prism. But they miraculously made every single uh, cover save and vulnerable save with the big mech. Uh, all my other shooting managed to take one shot, one wound away from this orc knob. Uh, my other shots, you know, he's making saves like crazy. Uh, my assault move, these guys assault move back six inches. My, my battle focusing, I'm shooting and running back. These guys actually ran back six. The guardians, these guys ran back three, I think. Four, actually, yeah. No, actually two. They, they went really not so far. So that's the end of the Eldar second phase, and orcs are ready to assault. We'll come back with that. Alright, so end of orc movements. This time I'm actually going to be doing stuff. Well, these squads moved out that came out of the last truck that blew up. This one just popped out of this truck. That truck moved 12 inches normally. That uh, battle wagon just moved 6 inches normally. These guys moved here. Maybe about to multi charge. And so now I'm going to go into shooting and assault phase. We'll be back with, yeah. Uh, Alright, so end of my shooting phase. Boys, truck, big shooter from, and the big shooter from here, and the big shooters from here all shot into this Guardian squad and brought it down to just these few Guardians in the party. They made the leadership. And these guys didn't shoot, they neither did these guys. So now, oh, and the guys inside of here shot at the bikes, though, and killed three of them. So now going into orcs assault phase. So I'm basically going to charge those guardians, charge the fire prism, and they're going to multi-charge the bikes and the um, wave server. So, yeah. Alright, so end of my orc turn. Basically took out everything I assaulted. Took out the fire prism. They exploded. Killed four of my orc boys and put one wound on my knobs. That's, that was pretty big. Just took out the guardians. Uh, challenged the farseer. Insta killed him, but I took a wound from him. Bikes. Multi charged. Blew up the wave serpent. Killed three orcs here. Explosions are doing a lot of damage to my orcs. Killed one fart. Killed one um, dire vengeance here. Put a wound on my knobs here, and I ran down the bikes. And they consolidated over there. So now Eldar turn, and so they got Dire Avengers in here, Dire Avengers there, and they still got to bring in some warp swords, and they still got that guy over there gonna come blow up my this battle wagon. Movement phase, the Crimson Hunter moves, so it makes this 9 degree eight turn. Hopefully, trying to shoot this uh, tank over here. Eldar pushed to the edge, right on the edge of the board. They ran back. These guys deployed. The Farseer gave them guide and foreboding, and these Eldar, Dire Avengers, moved back. This thing right here, 
uh, move back six inches as well. So we'll come on to shooting and we'll see what happens. Okay, in uh, shooting phase, the Crimson Hunter took out the battle wagon. It exploded. Four orcs died and put a wound on Nob. Uh, in shooting phase over here, these dire avengers were guided. They took out this group. There's like maybe nine orcs here. They took them down to one. These dire avengers here shot and took them down to three orcs. And then my wave serpent shot and killed two more. Both of them made their leadership, so they stayed on the board. So at the end of Eldar turn three, Eldar right up to the edge, hanging on by the by thread, just like in reality, Eldar dying race against insurmountable green tide. Come back, Orkster. So movement moved up. Them there, move the one the one orc boy in each squad into there into there, represented by them on top. I forgot, but I also did shooting. These guys blasted, killed all these all the dire vendors here, and the two trucks shot here and killed one each. So now now I'm going to assault these boys. You're just going to assault this. So I'm just going to roll it right now. Why not? About six inches. It should be in. Alright, so I'll be back with that. End of my turn. Uh, assault it, took it out, it exploded again, killed two of my guys, and then put one wound on this horse. Here. So, now going into Eldar, turn um, four. So, Warp Spider is going to come on automatically. If you recap Eldar, turn in the turn, uh, the Warp Spiders finally came on. I placed them right here behind the truck with the orc in it. Uh, they did shoot, exploded the truck, and the orc was now survived. I forgot. He's pinned. He's right here. Uh, over here, I went ahead and sh moved my Crimson Hunter here. I shot, and he's able to make a lot of cover saves, but I did take away one uh, hole point, and it cannot shoot this turn. Uh, <coughs> over here in movement I, to the edge of the corner, I went ahead and gave my group foreboding. Uh, which helps with my overwatch. I guided them and I doomed this group of orcs here. They had 12. Uh, they're down to two orc boys, the, the knob and one orc. And uh, then my assault move, I jumped my uh, uh, orc spiders back four inches. And we're coming back with orc turn five, probably the, the end of the game. And we'll see what happens. Alright, so end of movement and shooting. Move my boys over here. Shot. They would have killed two with the, with the help of shooter boys, and this one guy in here killed one guy. Well, all the shooter boys were able to kill just one as well. So all those shooter boys matched up to one slug. So that's pretty awesome. Over here, smooth shot was able to put another wound and kill. I think another dire avenger or something. So far, she only has one wound left from all the shooting here. They're going to assault now. We'll be back with that. So. Ran, so I ran these guys down. I lost one in assault, one knob, and I failed to go in. I just needed three inches, but I rolled double ones to get into assault with those warp spiders. So I'm going into Eldar turn five. Yeah. Okay, uh, just to uh, update, the end of the Eldar turn five. Is that right? So we're going to turn uh, roll to see if the game ends after this. But first, uh, the warp spiders finally did something. They shot. They destroyed. Took two hull points, two penetrations, and the tank blew up and killed five orc boys in the process. They were not hurt. Over here, this guy was not pinned. The guy that was still in there, he was not uh, wounded. Over here, the crimson hunter shot and took one wound away. So at this point, uh, we're going to see if the game ends, and the game ends. So it's the end of the game, and the orcs win. Uh, yeah, it's just no way. So at this point, we're going to count up the kill points and be back. Yeah, we counted it all up. Uh, I have 11, so I'll, I'll up to to uh, seven, I think it is. So I'll count it up. Fire Prism, one. Um, wave Serpent, two. There's another Wave Serpent over there. Three. Guardians, four. Guardian Jetbikes, five. 
two um, Dire Avengers, six seven, two Far Seers, eight nine, Slay the Warlord, ten, and uh, Line Breaker, eleven. Since my guys are there and there. Ta, I mean, Tier, Eldar have my three trucks, Battle Wagon, and Looted Wagons. That's five. And they have a whole squad of boys. Six. First Blood, seven. The, the, last, the remaining of the last two, if you would have killed them, down to nine to eleven. But it's Orc Victory, so, good game. So, um, my best unit of the match was probably these knobs. They went they went through the bikes, went through the Wave Serpent, went through a uh, whole squad of Dire Avengers, went through two Dire Avengers squads. That's amazing. Um, who was your best man in the match? Crimson Hunter just took out Oh, the yeah. That's the yeah. only thing I did the whole game. Took Europe. out Looter Wagon, Battle Wagon, and Truck. Yeah. And, and then and the Warp Spiders took out the other truck, and then the Dire Avengers took out some of the Orcs. Yeah. Yeah, he did. The thing that good. happened at the beginning is you had such good cover saves, and you got night fighting at the beginning, and that was just. You were able to close the gap, close the distance, and you had all these cover saves which you continued to make, and it was just not possible. So, the, the orcs are advanced forward into the uh, tournament, and we'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so, the orcs beat out the Eldar, move up forward to face the Ta in the next, next, um, bracket thing. But the next thing we're gonna do is Orc Horde versus the Salamanders. So yeah, that's how it is. So we got one of my armies, another one of my armies, Tyranids and Orcs. Ta here, so now Salamander is win here. Be be like one of my armies versus one of yours, one of my armies versus one of yours, but still got orcs. They're pretty good. We'll be back with more 40k tournament.